have mitochondrial cytopathy leukodystrophy. It's a neurological disorder. Um, I I didn't get symptoms until I was eight, but my, my mom always knew something wasn't right. Um, they told me mom it is cerebral palsy, but cerebral palsy is not pro pro progressive. And my, my disease was progressive. Pro 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 I am one of the owners of CA, um, which is a cannabis service center in Lansing. And Jenny came into our store. Um, and the day that she came into our store, she came in and the first things out of her mouth was, I've had five caregivers and nobody's helped me. Please just help me. Um, and that day we got Jenny enrolled um, and we absolutely gave her a bunch of medications to take home to figure out if something you know that we had could help her we gave her gel caps we gave her medibles we gave her you know different types of buds we gave her oils we gave her tinctures um and honestly jenny and i just really we hit it off and you know i, I love it i can't sleep um because of the pain and so I'm on a, a number of sleeping pills to n knock me out in, at night and since m m m my pain level is so high I'm also on a number of pain pills. Her disorder causes her muscles to be extremely, extremely tight. So it's basically mm. like they're pulling in at all times, um, which causes her migraines. It causes joint pain, muscle pain. Um, with the nerves misfiring how they do, it's basically her myelin sheath um, is unraveling progressively. And that's what sends the signals to your nerves and to your muscles. And that's continually misfiring. And so, mm. You know, that's something that she deals with 24 hours a day. She doesn't really get a break from the pain and the muscle tightness and all of the other nausea and the things that she deals with. We found a topical oil for her um, that's made and it actually has quite a combination of things in it, other herbal remedies as well, um, that help relieve some of the muscle tension for her. Um, we do rubs in the morning. She actually drives her daughter to school in the mornings and then stops at my place and we do a topical oil rub mm. and get her really medicated to kind of get her moving for the day. Um, and the aid that she has come in at night, she does have an aid for three hours a day um, that the state allows. So the aid comes in at night and helps her with dinner, um, you know, and other things like that and also gives her a massage to kind of help loosen up her muscles a little bit um, and hopefully help her sleep through the night. So she does have, you know, the medications, the prescriptions, um, and then the supplement with, you know, the medical marijuana coming in too. Mm. Did the federal mm -hmm. government not recognizing medical marijuana um, and having it as a Schedule One? Um, it makes it so that even though our state has voted, 63% of the voters who showed up voted that this is a medication and should be treated as a medication. Our federal government doesn't recognize that yet. Therefore, the insurance companies can say that no coverage is allotted, um, which is really sad because most of the patients who really truly are in need of this medication are so buried underneath hospital bills, trying to pay their house bills, trying to make ends meet, you know, and just take care of the basics. And that's really where a caregiver's job, you know, is to kind of come in and wrap around that 
person tailored to their needs, you know, and give them some free medications, but the caregivers, you know, face incurring charges such as electrical bills, nutrients, the time taken to make these medications. You know, these plants aren't just an easy throw the seed in the ground and they grow. It takes a lot of talent and it takes a lot of love to make it happen. I not for every patient that we work with do I go to their house, you know, and help them daily, you know, with the topical oils and things like that. Jenny really, outside of being a best friend, she really is the most inspiring person that we have ever met. Um, you know, at CA, it's something that we're dealing with going into the Supreme Court is patient to patient rights. And People like Jenny were really afraid for them because without being able to work with patients, um, you know, if they have a crappy caregiver like what she had before she came to us, we legally can't work with her. Um, so one of the things that we're, you know, we do is connect people now with caregivers who are quality, who actually have the cannabis testing to make sure that there's no pesticides in it, that everything is up to par. Um, you know, we've been really, really blessed along our journey. Um, we met a gentleman who lives down in the Ypsilanti area who grows a strain called Canatonic. Um, and that strain itself has only 1% THC, um, so it's not psychoactive at all. However, the CBDs seem to stop a lot of her nausea and tremoring. And it's through the grace of God and through the connections around the state, you know, that we've found people who can make medications to help reduce her tremoring and take away the nausea. Mm. Melody, another really good friend of ours, um, we took Jenny to a convention that they had down in Ann Arbor. Um, and our hopes was that down there we would be able to see a more variety of the medications from around the state and hopefully find, you know, something to help her better. Um, and we found some oils there and we, you know, rubbed them on her and she fell asleep and she slept for nine hours straight. And honestly, Mel and I woke up in the morning and snuck right out of the hotel room as quiet as quiet could be because neither of us wanted to wake her up. Um, you know, and that, that day gave us a lot of hope. We've seen the differences and how medical marijuana has helped her, but seeing that one specific oil and her laying in that bed without jumping and tremoring, really, it was a beacon of hope. Way to really tell. Um, the hope is, is to get Jenny out to Arizona. Um, they are doing a very big conference out there and all the speakers at this conference are doctors, um, top doctors from all around the country. And we contacted Patients Out of Time, which is the organization who is helping host this um, conference. And they are very, very excited about Jenny um, potentially coming out there. And they've set her up an appointment already with Dr. William Courtney. Um, he has done a lot of work with the raw diet for cannabis. Um, and so we're hoping that by getting her out there that maybe this raw diet and actually being able to work one-on-one -on -one with this doctor, you know, can help give her some more relief, um, you know, more than what knowledge we have here in Michigan. Um, the other fun thing too, well not fun because doctors aren't fun, but we also have another doctor, Dr. Peterson, um, in California who works with nutrition. And we'd also like to get her to him so that way we can get her hopefully where she's gaining weight. Um, she went from 123 pounds to 106. And that's really, really scary when you're looking at weight drops like that. So mm -hmm. we're hoping that these doctors can maybe provide more insight with a little bit more experience than what we've found so far in Michigan around the country. For whatever reason, the DEA um, isn't listening to the research. They're not listening to the patients. They're not listening to the people of America who are very overwhelmingly saying, look at the research. This doesn't cause more crime. This is helping people. No, medical marijuana is not a fix-all to every condition under the sun, but if it can be helpful to people, what is so wrong in a plant that God put on this earth? Tell me a little bit about the fundraiser. Ben Tom, it's your party. 
Mm -hmm. so, go for it. Mm -mm. Um, the fundraiser that we're doing is at Marvel's Lanes, um, which used to be the Holiday Lanes over by Frandor, and it was put together um, to help Jenny come up with the cost of flying out to Arizona, the cost of lodging. Um, she's supposed to be in Arizona to meet with Dr. Courtney on the 26th of April. Um, and so the goal of this fundraiser was to raise funds to get her ticket purchased, her hotel, um, and then as well to get her to California a couple days later to go ahead and see Dr. Peterson. Um, so far we have 15 teams who are registered. We are very, very excited at the reception we're getting statewide. Um, we have groups from The Thumb all the way up to Northern Michigan, from Detroit, from Ann Arbor, People are really wrapping around her and they want to see her come. Um, so what we have going on is it's a four-man team. You can have up to six people play, but we'll take your four highest scores. Um, the highest scoring team gets a prize. Um, the team with the funnest team outfit gets a prize. Um, and the team who raises the most money for Jenny will also get a prize basket. Um, we're also going to be doing silent auctions on that day. Many companies from around the state um, and Lansing too have gone to pitch in um, different prizes and different items up for auction. Gone Wired Cafe down on Michigan Avenue um, has thrown in gift certificates for one of the prizes. We have had Michigan MediMaps, um, which is another organization, do multiple donations. We have had Canalytics offer in some donations as well. Um, people are really getting behind her and supporting her because they want to see her do well. She has an amazing daughter that she has to live for and that she has to raise, you know, and if we can help her achieve that, then we've done our job. You've got good people behind you, don't mm. you? Yes. And it's good to know that you have that support system and let's hope that only grows wider. Mm. I think that day will mm. help. Thank you so much for talking with me. Anything else I should include? Anything you want to tell people about how this medication has helped you? I'm just uh, amazed how much it's done to me. And I'm very thankful and very grateful to the people that pr provide it. Mm -hmm.